Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix out your Streamlabs OBS delays or stream delays or if you have problems like your frame rate drops and stuff like that. So it's quite easy to fix actually. First of all what you want to do is you want to go over to your settings and the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to output. On output you want to select on advanced and you will get a lot more options. You'll also get like recording, audio, replay, buffer and stuff like that. So what you want to change is your bitrate. So let's just say that your bitrate is about 2500 like this. You want to change it a bit lower. So this is for the people that have frame rate drops and stuff like that. The frame rate lag for example is quite annoying. So like get it a bit lower. But I'm going to show you a better fix for this later on. So now go to video. So if your resolution is really high, you can also change it a bit lower to 1080. So don't go lower than 1080 guys, don't go like to 720, 720 is quite bad, so stick with 1080. If you want to go lower, just always don't go lower than 1080p. And if you do, what you also want to do is, if you change this to 1080, you also want to change the output resolution also to 1080. That's really important guys, because if you don't, it's going to give you some quality issues and stuff like that. Once you rewatch your video or your stream, it could happen. So now let's go over to the next settings. Let's get my settings back to normal really quick. On advanced, this is also really important. You want to go down. You want to go over to network. And you want to enable dynamically change bit rates when dropping frames while streaming. So this is actually also from here. So once you enable this guys, I will tell you what it actually does. For example, if you have, uh, if you are streaming right now and your internet connection gets a bit bad, what's going to happen is your frame rates are going to drop, but it's going to actually fix if you enable this one, because it's going to adjust your frame rates. I mean your bit rate on output over here so it's actually gonna change this over here for example if you enable it and it was like on 3000 for example and you get bad internet connect, uh, bad internet connection while streaming it's gonna automatically drop like to 6600 or a drop like a lot lower if you have bad internet connection but if it sees that you get better internet connection over time it's gonna go back higher up so it's going to go back higher up like this and eventually it's going to go back to the normal bitrate that you actually have. So that's also a fix. And I recommend you guys to get your settings on dynamically change bitrate on enabled. This could actually fix a lot of problems. Now let's go over to here. This is also quite important. So on stream delay, I would recommend you guys to enable this and to get this one to zero so you don't get any stream delays at all on here preserved uh, cutoff points and stuff like that just disable this one you don't want any increased delay on automatically reconnect you want to just get this also on zero just enable this and get this up to zero it's basically on 10 seconds i think and this one is like on 20 seconds just get all of these zeros so you don't get any delays on your stream at all and now let's go to some other settings maybe that we have i don't think there's like other settings at all right now so that's basically it guys for this video so this is how you can go ahead and basically do it really easily you can easily just fix your lag by doing these steps like your stream delay lag or your frame uh, frame rate lag stuff like that so i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did you can drop a like also subscribe that will really help me out guys and if you have other questions you can just ask them in the comments down below if you have questions about something else you can also and you can follow me at twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below so take care guys and goodbye